Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I am sharing this super cute, simple, awesome card that I created with this month's paper pumpkin kit. So the kit this month makes these awesome shaker cards and I haven't even made them yet because I was so excited about making this card. I love how fun these shakers are. Who doesn't like shaker cards? They are so much fun. They're really easy to create, which I love. And I needed to come up with an alternative to these projects for our blog hop today. And this is what I came up with and I just love it. Uh, they've been showing us little teasers of this kind of checkered gingham, whatever you want to call this pattern. And so I took one of the cards and you can see these are the card bases for all of these projects. But what I did is I took the card, you know, it's scored so I could make two pieces and I tr cut it down into a piece of like pattern paper instead of a card base, okay? So I just took that and then I'm going to actually adhere it to some black cardstock and then I used crumb cake as my card base layer instead. And what I was going for was a masculine card. So this is actually a birthday card. So let me show you how I put it together because it's so easy. I'm just going to adhere these pieces, I could even use the glue dots that come in my kit, but I just happen to have my fast fuse handy, so I'm gonna use that. I've just layered this onto a piece of basic black cardstock, and then I will adhere it to my card. Like so. Then I have a two and a quarter inch circle punch. In which you say, hello, internet. Hello, Internet. That is my son, Carl, stopping by to say hello. I'm going to punch a circle out and then use this on my card. All right. So I've got my circle punch, and then I'm going to use the Carols of Christmas stamp set, which pairs perfectly with this. And I'm going to stamp the little deer from here and die cut it out. And then the die cuts also have a tree. Actually, they have a couple tree dies in here. So I've got my tree die. And then I'll stamp my, sorry, I'm just reaching for my scrap paper. I'll stamp my little reindeer out here. And then I'll use the little die cut to die, or to cut that out. Boom, like this. Oh, look, I just happened to have one done already. Boom, there we go. So I've got my deer, I've got my tree, and then all I need is my sentiment. Now, my Carols of Christmas didn't have any birthday sentiments in it, but one of my favorite sets, Big on Birthdays, did. So I took that instead. I was just looking to see if I had the stamp set out so I could show it to you, but I don't have it. What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here big on birthdays. So I'm going to use it's your day. And then on the inside, I can stamp happy birthday. I should probably grab that because I haven't done that yet. But I have a cute little tip for the inside too. So hold on for that. Okay. So next, just grabbing a block for this quick. There we go. Okay. So next I'm going to stamp the it's your day. And I'll also use my ever popular and always wildly useful triple banner punch. This is that punch that I use all the time. And so I've just taken, and this is just a scrap of cardstock left over from trimming cardstock. So I did not cut it special or anything. It's about a half inch wide. And then I'll stamp It's Your Day in black ink right on there. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, and this is kind of cool, um, set. Hold on. Hold on. So I had a little leftover strip from trimming this piece out. So I thought what better way to use that than to put it inside my card. So I'll just put some adhesive on here and tack it in. And it's just a scotch too long, so I'll just trim that off because otherwise that'll bug me. <laughs> okay, and then we'll stamp happy birthday in here. 
also in my black memento ink. So how awesome is this card turning out so far? Okay, so let me show you my tips on this. First of all, I'm going to adhere my piece right about there. And then I've got my circle. I'll adhere my tree right onto my circle. And then finally, I'll take a couple of mini dimensionals, which were kind of made for this teeny little deer. One of my regular dimensionals is stuck to it. Okay, I'll put a couple of these little dimensionals on my deer and then we'll pop him up on my card. And whether you are a lover of nature or a hunter or just a guy, I think this is a great card. And then to kind of make it a little bit more fun. Well, actually we're going to pop this up too. To make it just a little bit more fun, we will go ahead and add some gold stars. And those gold stars are actually part of my paper pumpkin kit and they're perfect. Uh oh, except of course, now I'm thinking to myself, what happened to them? I had them. Okay, now to make this adorable though, we're gonna add the little gold star sequence from our kit. I seriously was like looking, I stopped the video so I could look for them. My husband was like, you mean these ones? They're just right, right off the camera, right over here. Figures. Okay, so, so to adhere these to my card, it's like a starry night. And I'm just gonna take some of my uh, fine tip glue and I'll put three little dots onto my circle. And of course, the hardest part of this entire process is getting that cap or the little pin put back in. In fact, I made a video with these not too long ago and I literally couldn't even do it on the video. So I had to turn off the video and then, I don't know, I think I need bifocals, but I am absolutely not going to get them because I am far too young and delightful to be wearing such things. And I know, I know you guys are going to comment on it, but nope, I am not emotionally prepared to wear them. So there you go. Okay. So there are my three little sequins. And isn't this cute? With the happy birthday and then the inside. Oh, and wait, the kit comes with matching envelopes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So isn't that awesome? I hope you like this video. If you are not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you certainly can. Just follow the link that's in the description of this video or head over to my blog. Again, the link is in the description of this video and you can check out all the details for subscribing to Paper Pumpkin. You can also click right here to subscribe to this YouTube channel and get more awesome videos just like this one. And we will see you back here again soon. Thanks guys, bye.